It's Thursday, July 25th here in Seoul. I'm Oh Jin Ju, and you're watching Korea Now. We start today with North Korea's latest firing of missiles into the East Sea. North Korea fired two short-range missiles from near its eastern coastal town of Wonsan, Gangwon-do Province, Thursday morning. According to South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, one projectile flew 430 kilometers before landing in the East Sea, while the other traveled much further than the first one. Both of them are known to have reached an altitude of some 50 kilometers before falling into the waters. Military and intelligence authorities from Seoul and Washington are analyzing if they were ballistic missiles or not, and whether they were the same type of short-range missiles that the North test fired twice in May. This is the latest in a series of North Korean threats that comes in protest against the upcoming Seoul-Washington joint military drill in August and ahead of the resumption of working-level talks on North Korea's denuclearization. South Korea and the U.S. have seen eye to eye on the need to find a diplomatic solution to the deepening feud between Seoul and Tokyo. During a meeting in Seoul between South Korean Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa and White House National Security Advisor John Bolton on Wednesday, the two sides agreed that close coordination and cooperation is in both South Korea's and Japan's interests, especially when it comes to the goal of North Korea's denuclearization. And let's say Seoul and Washington have sent a coordinated message to Tokyo that it should refrain from making matters worse and accept South Korea's offer for talks to resolve the diplomatic row that has hit new lows following Japan's retaliatory export curves. K-pop boy band BTS's fan meetings in Seoul and Busan last month are estimated to have created over 481 billion won, or some 408 million U.S. dollars in economic effect. This according to the report by a research team led by Pyeong Ju Hyun, a business professor at Korea University. The two-day Seoul event alone is known to have been responsible for 345.8 billion won. And those were the top headlines for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for your daily news feed.